Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Today, we're going to work on expanding our industry, particularly with either forestry or farming. I think it's going to be farming. That's what we found out was available uh, near our new little city build here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video as well. So I'm really excited to continue growing our city. Don't forget about the name for the city. I'm going to take the top three voted comments over this video in the last one which hasn't released yet in my timeline um and then uh, yeah we're gonna just name our city something cool so here we are coming up on what we built last time looking really sharp i'm liking this build let's just stop following this go nuts for donuts truck and take a look what we have oh yeah look at that right on the coast looking very sharp okay so we've got some things that we need to work on and some new things that we've unlocked as well which is going to continue to help us in building our city let us switch to daytime and daytime it is so let's just pause for a moment and take a look at some of the needs that we have now i used to use the automatic rebuild it mod um, but I don't use that now because when we see some buildings like this that have fallen into disrepair and become abandoned, we can get the extra information uh, why these were abandoned. So not enough workers. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's not enough workers in the city. Um, although in this case, I believe that's possibly it because as you can see here, we have a high demand for residential. Quite often, it will be that they can't get here easily. And at the moment, we do have a walking path that runs all the way down here. It goes over the top, all the way along here and over the top there. These can all walk down these roads. Oh, we didn't sort of quite finish this walking path over here. Let's add that in a bit. Um, and that may help ever so slightly, probably not too much. But if we have some mass transit that we can put in, um, that would be fantastic. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just bring that into there. I've got it connected there. got it connected there. That will do. What mass transit options do we have available before we dive into the farming? We, of course, have buses. And we have some lovely bus lanes as well. Uh, bus depot. So that's 40000 which is like half our money, nine sixty a week. 30,000 720 a week as money is hard to come by scientists are glued to their telescope okay as uh, money is hard to come by we're going to go with the basic bus depot um what i need to do is remember to use this to turn that off first there we go and pop that in will that fit in over here somewhere without making it look too hawky balky i am going to pop it right on the end there honk honk buses are on the way i'll take the bus to work please well that is exactly the idea so i'm going to create a brand new line uh here is that like create a line now that is weird that it's not uh, showing up what the heck is going on darn it game Oh, there we go. It's because I'm using this mod up here to hide certain things. It got a little bit confused. So I'm going to sort of go every other sort of block along here. It shouldn't be too busy. Uh, I may just pop one here as well. And then it's going to come all the way over here. And mm, I'm just thinking to keep it on the main road would actually be a good idea. So we're going to go every other block like this. Then it's going to swing round, come back, stop the other side of the road. I might move some of these stops. And in fact, I'm going to go this way first. So let's go there. We can go up here past the school. Uh, yep, that will do. Back onto the main road again. A couple of blocks. Uh, this little bit here is sort of off the main road. So we're going to go up there. to say i'm absolutely loving the way the game looks with this lut with these relight settings everything just looks so much crisper 
and more lifelike. It just looks amazing. I'm loving it. If you want to know how to do this, there's a link in the description now that's got all my mods and assets that I'm using for this series. It would have been in the last one as well, but I hadn't made it yet, but I have now. Um, so go and check it out, and it shows you how to set all the game up to make it look like uh, what uh, I'm using here as well. So what I want to do... So this bus is going to carry on for a while. Let's come out of this view. There we go. What I would like to do is just take a quick look at what bus roads we've got. So these guys up here... Oh, look, they've regrown. Ah, so it's not as bad as it was before. It's now just, yeah, these ones still quite bad. But yeah, we'll see what happens with those. What I want to do is see what bus roads we've got. Just to maybe help this a little bit. But if only if we've got, so two lane, one way. Only if it's a small road. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is do it this way. If we have a look over here in this one. So this one here. So that's the two lane, one way, which I don't want. I want two way with the bus. Three lane, one way road. <laughs> Why can't I have any two? I bet there's some two lane ones in here. All right. When they get unlocked, we may do a little bit of a change with the road. But as it stands at the moment, I think we'll be fine. Okay. So we'll let that carry on. That will also possibly help. We've got not enough educated workers. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to check that out. So let's see what we've got. Elementary school coverage is fine. High school coverage is fine. University. Is that unlocked now? Oh, no, it's not unlocked yet. So it is just that not enough people are going through the school system just yet. Oh, that's fine. So let's head down here. Last episode, we found out. So let's have a look at our resources. But this here is a nice big farming area. I mean, it sort of went all along the front here, but we've got houses on that. But if we can put some sort of farm thing on here... That would just be fantastic. So I'm just wondering, I think what we're going to do, do we have the industry road? Before I'd sort of use the two-lane gravel road and stuff like that, but I think we're going to start with the industry road. I'm not quite sure how we're going to hook this up yet. Um, and we are going to start from over here and see if we can match this up to this railway line, I think. I was going to straighten that out, but I think that's okay like that. So that's going to be our main road. I mean, this is our main road down here, isn't it? So actually, I'm going to just change that. We're going to have that hook into there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. Use our picker picker mod. I'm going to grab that road. Let's get that one. So that would go to there, but I'm just going to bring it back to here. So it doesn't quite connect up. And then I think I am going to straighten this road a bit. Mm, there we go. That's fine. And then we'll just rezone these little bits here that have disappeared. There we go. That's fine. Bit of housing. Then it stretches out to this road that's going to run along this way. And then we need to see what we can do here. I think what we're going to do is continue this down a tiny bit further. There we go. And then we're going to build off of here. So let's go straight... I mean, anywhere we'll do here, let's pop in our industry zone. Whole of this can possibly be farming. So I'm just putting in some rough road details here just to see what we can end up with. And what I would like to do is to start off the farming industry. Let us grab, make sure we get the right one. That's forestry, almost got the wrong one. Our farm main building. And I'm thinking that was going to go on the main road. I'm actually going to put it here. There we go. So that's going to unlock this and all these items so we can start growing our farm. Now we have Rosewood Fields. Hmm, I think we're going to change that. Green Tea Fields Farm. Fantastic. There we go. So let's see what we can do in here. Of course, the first thing we need is water. There we go. That is everybody covered. And then let's put down some of these buildings here. I really like the ones that look like warehouses oh look at that that's perfect and i think this is the one. Oh, i meant to read that what did you say tell me my favorite fruit is strawberry what's yours hashtag strawberry season um it's gonna be a greenhouse <laughs> sorry i like the greenhouse ones uh maybe we'll do like three and what i'm gonna do is change this one here to apples oranges yeah let's have oranges why not i think that looks okay yeah, something in between there. Very good. Nice. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pretty this up a little bit. So I'm going to grab this path here. 
The bus is coming up here now, which is nice. Let's run a path down there. So what we might do actually is now we think about it is adjust our bus route. So when it's coming up here, if we grab this one, and get that to stop outside there and then stop up there and then on the way down there. Yeah, that should be okay. That'll be good. And then we want to be able to store the crops that we're making from in here. So if we grab our small grain silos, as they're coming down here, they can pop those in there. We'll sort of spread those out a little bit. I'm going to move that one. That's going to come down to there. There we go. A couple of silos. That should do. Excellent. And what other options do we have? That is about it, isn't it? Small animal pasture. So they will take the crops, of course, and turn them into meat for us. Um, so maybe we'll pop in one of those as well. Let's have the animals over here. There we go. Something like that. I'm going to run a couple of paths down here just to add a little bit of interest. Let's stop this one from jumping on the nodes. Oh, there it is. It's up here. It's open already. There we go. We'll put that there. Excellent. Just some sort of dark dirt path running through with the stones. I'm liking that. What are we going to get? Let's have pigs in that one and let's have highland cows in that one. There's something a little bit different. Nice. Okay, that's good. So we'll leave that running and then they're going to produce yieldy animal products, which means to help with that, we can add some little storage in there. Now, I wouldn't have an open air warehouse yard for animal products. Uh, I've got a small warehouse. We can sort of imagine that that is perhaps uh, refrigerated or something like that. Where can that go? That can just sort of go on the outside here, couldn't it? Let's pop that there. That will do nicely. So we're going to have that set to, let's say, balance for now, and then animal products, and then we'll just sort of see how that goes. Excellent. Electricity. Let's make sure we're doing okay. Yeah, we just need to hook these people up. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just literally run that across there. Because at some point, we're going to have something along here. Yep, that's fine. There we go. Excellent. So hopefully, we'll make some money. What have we got job-wise? Yep, so we've got the possibility of 160 workers. To get to the next level, we need to get 150. So that's okay. And also produce the resources that we are going to produce. And we're making our own. We're not importing any. So that is nice. There we go. And there's our pigs and coos enjoying our products. That is what we want to see fantastic so that's going to get us going with our farm um how is everybody everybody's looking happy oh look at that these are all looking okay yeah that's fine how is the traffic going oh they're not looking okay they're unhappy <laughs> they're still unhappy well why don't we expand a bit then that is something that we need to do so we could carry on down here or we could head up over here i'm thinking maybe up over here would be good so we've got around the coast let's take this one purchase no, we've only got 2,000 monies. Darn it. Can I take a loan? I really don't want to, but I can. Let's take the biggest loan there is, because why the heck not? We're going to buy this one over here and then take a look at it. Right, so this is the new little area that we've just purchased. There isn't actually a road off the highway here. We've got the train line coming through, and then it scoots along down here. There's this little road, but it's deceiving. It's not connected up. It's all overgrown. And then it sort of goes to the edge here, and we don't own this little bit, so I can't get in there. But I'm just thinking, we do actually have this area here. If we could somehow hook this up, to what we've got going on we might be able to just expand a little bit more so maybe let's do that first then we'll head over there so we've got this road that runs down here which i am going to connect up to there at some point but for now uh, we'll stick with this we're sticking with our basic road let's just turn this all into two-way road as far as we can go and then i'm thinking about building up over the top here a little bridge so let's see what we can do and it might just mean deleting some of this road. We shall see. Let's start here. Yeah, 
There we go. I think that's okay. A little switch back over the top. Then it joins up with this road down here. A little bridge over the top there as well. What a great city. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. That is very kind of you to say. So we're going to pop that there. And then over here, that just connects straight up. So that's okay. So this is becoming more of a main road sort of down at the front here. So at some point, we are going to have to upgrade that. But not quite at the moment. So let's just put something in down here that we can build around. Right, I'm just getting rid of some of these broken down old buildings <laughs> that nobody wants to work to. <laughs> nobody wants to go to work at. Never mind, we're fine. Okay, so we've got this little shape going around here. Nothing too complicated. Let's just get some water pipes over here as well for our fine folks. Hmm, I don't think we're going to have a water pipe going up and over a bridge. No, let's not do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it here. And then we're going to see how else we could connect it in a way that would make sense. So we're going to connect under the highway there. Don't mention it. Don't tell anybody. It'll be perfectly fine, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. Let's give them something nice over here. Uh, let's just take a look. How about a nice dog park? Could we fit that in maybe over there? That will cover that whole area with nice lovely park goodies which is good uh, we want to give them a school i'm just thinking to make this area a little bit different yeah let's put over here a district because we haven't been doing any districts yet really have we uh, and this district with these houses is actually going to come all the way down to here we do have this tree buffer between what is going to be houses and that industry area so i'm happy with that that will be an industrial park let me redo that there we go that makes much more sense this is going to be let's change this oh gray estates yes there we go fantastic i wanted to put in here maybe something a little bit different if we've got it unlocked residential specialization self-sufficient buildings why not i think that'll make it interesting so let's pop some of these in here then so we're going to need a community school where they're going to want to come and live can we sort of squeeze that in there yes we can they're also going to need a elementary school let's pop that one over here yep that'll be good oh man the money is going down so quick so quick Oh, look, they're all upgrading now because they're happy with the school. Uh, we could have a nice police station, although there's one all the way over there. No, let's not bother. Fire coverage isn't the best. If we stick one up here, it's going to help with these guys as well. So I'm going to pop in one of those very small fire stations. And then we definitely want a medical clinic, which we don't have enough money for. Let's have a sip of tea. I think about how much money we're losing at the moment so i tell you what you know they're gonna have to just wait for that so let's fill this in we're gonna have houses in the middle here we don't need many walking paths here because they can actually walk around and get everywhere because these roads are all nicely crisscrossing and all that sort of stuff which is great um i don't want houses there we'll have houses here and not there not along the back these could be houses that could be houses and then we're going to put some let's go back to our districts let's go to here and we want this to be organic and local produce for our commercial and i'm just thinking we're going to put a block there a block there and a block there but i'm also going to just take some away so we don't lose these trees along here as well i'm trying to sort of keep as many of the natural trees as we can so I'm going to take that out, take those out. Maybe we'll keep those couple of trees there. That should be okay for now. Make sure they're hooked up with electricity. They will be when they move in. So let's see what we get building up over here. That looks nice. Now, I do want to carry on the road down here. Oh, while I think of it, buses. Yeah, the buses are coming down here to turn around. So this is going to be a great opportunity to add in. I've got to be honest here. One bus stop would probably be absolutely fine. 
I want to put it over sort of near the school, but where's that going to send you? All the way around the houses and back again. So how about one stop over there and then one stop here on the way out? I think that'll be good. That's not too far from this school. You can walk there. You can walk up there, around there. Yeah, that'll be fine. I mean, we're sort of getting almost to the point where this bus stop is going to match up and come over the top but we'll see uh, let's just pause that for a second i just want to change this bit here uh, this road here is actually going to continue down here because we've got to fill this in uh, let's just turn off road guidelines i want this road to sort of go down the middle like this how far is that going to go yeah that's going to come all the way down actually do you know what we're going to do we're going to do this. We're going to keep it on this side. Can I get this under here? Nope. So we're going to have to redraw that bridge. That's fine. So let's go like this. And then we're going to just sort of curve this round. Go like that. Have sort of a loop at the end. Uh, let's use the move it mod and just see if we can... Yeah, that's not too bad. Something like that's fine. Can we connect this up over the top? Or is that just too low? It might just be too low. It gets over that road okay, look. Yeah, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to connect it up. I'm going to use the Anarchy mod because I know that that's perfectly fine. And what I'm going to do actually is lift this one here. Control H, same height as that. This one here, Control H, the same height as that. And that one there, Control H. And then it just drops down at the end. Yep, yeah, that's good. And then what we can do is if we get this down here, we can connect that on that side. And that on that side. There we go. And people can walk and get down to this area as well. This is looking nicer. Uh, does that electric pylon need to be there? At the moment, yes. But I bet if I do this, let's come there to there to there. I can then delete this one, which is what I want to do because we are going to build in here. There we go. Excellent. So let's have a look at that that nice loop in the middle people are moving in oh i didn't connect that road up again and i unpaused the game whoops that would have confused everybody i'm so sorry i'm so sorry well let's see what we can do let's just pause the game let's delete that and connect this up to this road here Woo! <laughs> let's do this aha there we go much better is that okay going over the top yeah that's still fine still all lined up correctly excellent and then all i'm going to do on the end here is do giveaway like that there we go that's going to loop round. so eh, probably don't need it but i'll do a giveaway sign on there excellent how close are these oh do you know what we don't need to put any roads off of that that is literally as much as we need to do so we're gonna have oh my black wallet i've been looking for that we're gonna fill these in like this this is going to be some shops in there and then all around the outside will be residential when we need some Let's maybe just pop a little bit in down here for now. That'll do. Right, let's look at that bus again. So when this bus goes back up again, we can grab that one. I'm going to just put one stop. Let's put it there. I think that's near enough that these people here will walk. That's good. Let's see. What have we got on here? Have we got, I mean, it hasn't been running for long. Is there anywhere that's particularly overloaded with people? No, the five buses are keeping up with it. The nine buses. I didn't put that many. Thought I'd put five. Oh, I've added more stops, haven't I? Let's make it six. Go on. And we'll change the colour to a nice fuchsia. Very nice. And we are still making money. We are still growing. We're over 2,000. What's our next target? 2,600. <laughs> Working water pipes. Who's complaining <laughs> about no water? That would possibly be the new area that I've just built. Let's just pop these in. There we go. Water for you. I'm so terribly sorry. Plenty of electricity. Plenty of water. Hopefully now everybody is happy. Let's have a look. The shop's all moving in. Coin laundry. What else have we got down there? Sky Trust. I like these with the, with the green on the top. And look at how many people are walking. That is exactly what we want to see. We want to see people walking over the highway. That is brilliant. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right, let's run over here. And check how our farming industry is doing. What a lovely colour bus. 
over here. Hopefully, this is still making us money. Let's just check this out. So, it's a long way away for people to travel to work. So, we've got 82 out of 160 workers. Let's just check what our unemployment is. Unemployment, 3%. Actually, we need to grow a lot before we're going to get a load of people here. Not making a huge amount of money. We're importing a ton of stuff. Uh, sorry, no, we're not. We're making a ton of stuff. Uh, that is okay. That is okay. Let's check these over here. Animal products. Yeah, they've got all the stuff they need. I want this to be empty. So that'll be used as a buffer. So they'll deliver there first of all. I'm using the enhanced traffic. What's the mod called? Something like that. Enhanced transfer mod. So they will deliver to here first. Then, as you can see, these will use its own trucks for heading out into the world. Hashtag, I need more parks. But that's good, because that's going to make us money if we keep getting those things sent out. Let's just have a look here. Yeah, I don't know why it says minus 276. We shall see. But they're all going to head out. I think the money will kick in once it gets out of the city. Okay, so doing well. Let's continue to expand. So we've got more need for residential. So all of this down to here is going to be residential. So let's fill that in. All of this is going to be residential. But I'm actually going to pause the game because... I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to try and save some of these trees. I'm not making the building so big along the back. Uh, let's just take that one out. That's fine. That can come out. That can come out. That can be smaller. Yeah, we'll take out those. It will also help us get some slightly different size buildings. But we want this buffer. We really want this buffer by the highway. There we go. That's okay. And then we'll pop these in here. This is all going to be shops. So let's fill that in, let's fill that in, let's fill that in. There we go. Let's fill those in. Excellent. Yep, that should be good. Oh, I like this. Look, we've got a nice little car park that's popped up in here, which is fantastic. Goes with all these other buildings really nicely. What I'd like to do is just sort of cover this bit here in... Yeah, in this. Let's just go a bit bigger. I'm sort of sort of making out it's like a shopping centre area. So if we cover this all like this, doesn't mess anything up, does it? No, that's okay. Makes it look a little bit more like a shopping complex, doesn't it? Yeah, very good. Very good. Right, so... I'm just thinking about some more trees along this side because we've got this really sort of smoggy industry area over here, which is on fire. Okay, where's the fire engines? Hello? Here they come. Stuck behind a tractor. Isn't that always the way when you've got to get somewhere in a rush, you're stuck behind the tractor? Well, when we've unlocked them, these roads here are definitely going to become bigger roads. Well done. You put it out. He's burned down. Hopefully, he'll come back. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to plant some more trees along here. So, whereas before, I didn't want to use the Move It mod to cheat and place trees in the last episode. The landscaping is actually open now. So, um, I'm not too worried about doing this. I'm going to copy those. And I think we're just literally going to fill this bit here. all the way along here really get it chock-a-block with trees to protect these people from all of that industry that's over there i mean they can see it you know it's not totally out of sight but i think definitely with trees that is going to be a little bit better and then it's not until down here where the residential starts that you start getting away from the industry behind you. And I think that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. Let's fill this last bit in. Did we put in the residential? We did. Okay, that's fine. So it's just waiting for the growth. Could we add some shops in in a couple of spots? This little section here could do with some shops. So let's just pop a few in here. Nothing too big. As before, want to keep the trees. What about along the front here? No, I think that's all okay. Yep, we'll leave that as it is. So let's move from this side of the city over to our new square that we unlocked over here. And I'm just thinking about a simple little junction for coming off of here that doesn't take up too much space.
Okay, so we've got the junction set up there. It's not looking perfect either side, you know, it's symmetrical. That's the word I'm looking for. And that's deliberate. I don't mind the road being a bit wiggly woggly and bendy like that. What I am going to do, if I can come out of that screen and press the right button, is I'm going to change this at the top. Um, if we have the option... Yeah, in here to a two. I'm still getting used to the way these roads look a bit different from what uh, I had before with the old next two roads. Two lane highway with one lane going in each direction. Two lane highway. I think that's going to be the one. Yeah, so then we get two lanes going that way. That one's going off. That one's coming up. We'll do that as well. Then I'm going to do this and control left click for dedicated turning lanes on everything. And that one as well. And then where this goes into here, now our highway that goes through here is two lanes all the way through. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to slightly upgrade just after this junction to a three lane, which is going to be that one. If we can squeeze that in. Yeah, there we go. Just so they all get a lane to come on. It's almost like you've got this extra lane and then you've all got to merge in together. And I've stopped it from being a bridge. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's change that to that. There we go. The water can run underneath. Fantastic. Let's just double check that that's right. There we go. That's okay. Then they can merge there. And then if we do the same over here, where they come on a little bit there. So we'll pop that back to normal. Excellent. Yep, that's fine. So we've got this little extra runoff lane. And then we'll do our lane connectors. You go there. And that's good. Then at the top here, we do have traffic lights, which at the moment are just bog standard traffic lights, which is fine, which is good. Now, before we get too deep into all of that, we're running out of electricity over here. Oh, we were. We were running out of electricity like two minutes ago. I looked at this. Yeah, look, we are running out of electricity, getting brownouts. So at the moment, I mean, <clears throat> what have we got? 41,000. We could pop in another one of these for 19,000. We can pop some of these in. What's the difference? Seven megawatts. These give us naught to eight. So six, 12,000 would give us like 16. 19,000 is going to give us 40. I think we just might as well go for another one of these somewhere up here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little road up behind this bus depot. I've slightly changed this little angle here as well. It's looking a little bit more realistic. Can I connect to there without messing anything up? I can. I'm going to go like that. And along the back there. Let's just maybe line this up a little bit better. People living without electricity and had outhouses long time ago. But people are complaining. Please don't complain. I'm literally popping it in right now. And that's going to go there. That's fine. Just sort of tucked away a little bit. That's good. I don't mind that. And hopefully that'll be plenty of electricity now. We shouldn't have any more complaints. Yeah, look at that. So I could even drop the budget back down to something like that and save a wee bit of money. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to go too far because we are expanding. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I've just been looking at all the comments because video number one has just gone out. And the, the names suggestions, the name suggestions for this city have been coming in. And some of them are fantastic. So I'm pretty sure by next episode, I would have been able to pick some out, stick them on the community tab and get them voted up so we can see what we've got. How are we doing here? 110 workers out of 160. So we want to get to 150, don't we, for the next level. So we are getting there. That's good. Let's double check our mass transit, see how that's going. So we've got six vehicles. We've got random amounts of people there. I reckon we could drop this down. Oh, dear, it should have paused that before I did it. <laughs> Probably made some buses disappear. Oh, no, they're okay. Yeah, let's drop that down a bit. And then as things go on, we can always we can always change it and add more, can't we? Good. Okay, that's the problems over there sorted. Let's swing back round to our new area over here and wait for daytime. Hey, would you look at that? Population 2,600. Fantastic. Sightseeing bus tours and trolley buses. I'd like to get some trolley buses in. And then a whole, a whole slew of, is that a real word? <laughs> new policies and some new roads. Just take a quick look through this. So these are the standard ones you'd get unlocked. I want to sort of keep in mind any new ones from vanilla plus that we might get unlocked yeah lots more asymmetric rows which are going to be 
fantastic as we get bigger. Four lane road with, is that tram? I think that's tram or is that trolley bus? Might be tram. And some more one year roads and some cool stuff down here as well. Oh yeah, some nice coastal fishing things. They are definitely going to enjoy those in our city. All the intelligence agency. And these, I love these. These are fantastic buildings as well. Nice, a nice little chunk of new things. What's next? 3,800. Cool. So I was just going to follow this road down here and see where it takes us. Can you hook on there? Thank you very much. So if we come down here, and then we are going to just meander along here, roughly following the outline of the coast to my right. And then we've got this sort of area that goes up here. What I wanted to do was possibly connect it up to this and have that as a connection coming around the other side there. So I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to back this one up. And we're going to sort of come around the top there and bring it down to here. And then at some point that's going to join up. So let's have a quick look. What is that road there? Have we got that one unlocked yet? I think we might do. So if I... Let's have a look. We've got a little walking path and a road connected up to this. But people can't walk down this one. So in my mind, that seems a little bit pointless. What is this one? Let's go to here and then... I want to keep that. Let's move that over there. Oh, there's lots of detailing going on here. Let's just grab all of this and move it over. Yeah, whatever we lose after that, that's fine. And we're going to connect that up to there. There we go. Excellent, excellent. And we could even move this path. There we go. Onto there. So that sort of goes to this extra little small highway. And eventually, when we get this square, we can hook that up with a tunnel underneath around here and then maybe turn this into a slightly faster road until we get to the built up area that might be a good idea excellent so this area over here is slightly taking shape i just feel like i need to adjust this a bit so this area here is definitely going to have its own little district. So I'm going to put that in there and check out. What I'm going to do is any other names that don't get chosen for things like the city name and stuff like that. I'm going to keep a little list and then we can use them for districts as well. So keep on suggesting the names. I love them. That's Mill Heights. Uh, this one I want to change. Earl Grey Estate. I want to change that to Earl Grey End. Don't mind that. Looking for an apartment. Yeah, I know. We need to get more people moving in. Uh, we're also going to get a little district going down here for these people. So then we can start working on policies and things like that. But I want to name everything. I want to name everything as we go along. There we go. Let's do that. We'll just whiz down this road. There we go. So we've got Mill Square over there. Let's just finish that one there. And then we're going to have another district down here too. So let's just join all of these in. And it might just help us with changing some of the styles, not having great big... Oh, there we go. Not having great big um, high-rises everywhere. We'll look at that in a future episode for sure. So I just wanted to stop by here and see how our new farm is doing. It's only small at the moment, but hopefully it's making us some money. Yes, it is, which is fantastic. It won't be long, and that will be up to the next level.
Just decided to do a few names at the end here. Green Tea, Fee, green, blah, 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 green tea Fields Farm, Green Tea Park, Green Tea Square, Earl Grey End, Earl Grey Industries, and then Chai Heights, which we'll get to in the next episode. Unfortunately, we seem to have caught fire. Fire! Oh my goodness me, we'll have to get that one sorted out. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode. And I will see you in a few days' time. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.